Hi Limpen fans, did you know that bicep mate can help you prevent cancer? And uh, welcome to my brand new video! So a YouTuber called Vegan Gains made a video where he made fun of a kid that had cancer. Isaiah Butterfield then went ahead and called him out for that. And now Vegan Gains has made a video where he talks a bunch of crap and tries to defend himself. But you know, it's just really pathetic because there's no way he can possibly come back from what he did. But in case anyone's listening to him and thinks that he's a good guy for doing this, um, I'm going to make this video to expose him and explain to you why he's talking a lot of shit. Let's go. Hi everyone. Hello, steroid user. The other day, I just started getting a long series of these weird, hateful, angry emails. Oh, did you? They're accusing me of something I didn't do. So this one comes from Josh Venning, and he says, I hope you die. Don't tell him to die, come on now. You think it's funny to joke about cancer. I don't recall making any videos lately where I was joking about cancer. Lately? That must mean you've done it in the past. Did any of you hear the horrible news? Furious Pete got cancer again! Oh, so sad! So who would like a ha ha, you're gonna die of cancer t-shirt? And now it looks like he's gonna die of cancer and if you ask me, he's getting exactly what he deserved. And uh, here's another email. Uh, so he says, uh, you published on the 14th of March a video antagonizing a kid who has died of cancer. And even if I did, how is it possible to antagonize a dead person? Maybe they used the wrong words, but you literally mocked and exploited the fact that a seven-year-old died to try make others hate Eddie Hall in the way you do. You are such a poor excuse for a human. I agree. You sad pile of shit. Even if you read this and laugh, or this does nothing to you, I want you to someday have a child. Sorry to disappoint you, that's never happening. Well, thank God for that. We do not want or need a vegan against junior, that's for sure. I've I've gotten a vasectomy, so I'm totally sterile. Why would you go through that pain when the only way you're gonna get a root is if you put one out of the ground? Uh, those are only two of probably dozens of emails and messages I've received lately. I had no idea where they were coming from, uh, but then I suddenly realized, oh, only one person could be responsible for this. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's the Buttsman, the Aussie hero. He had to fuck up your day and make you pay for the hard shit you've done. Isaac Butterfield made another video about me, and this time he's responding to a critique video I made where I was criticizing the strong man Eddie Hull. And as is typical with Isaac Butterfield, instead of giving me any kind of fair, reasonable criticism, uh, no, the intention of this video is to just lie about me, slander me, uh, harm my reputation. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. What? You think you actually have a reputation? What the fuck? Are you serious right now? And one of the first things that Isaac did in his video was he played an old clip of me where I was doing a Twitch stream where I threatened another YouTuber named Repsion. Repsion's a little fucking bitch. If I had the opportunity, I'd kill him. Slit his fucking throat with this knife. Really like to use this knife on him. He is a large anus. Like he really does deserve to die. A cock smoker. Hey, vegan gains, vegan gains. Told you to fuck off. A psycho. Like he's such a smug little bitch. I'd like love to just slide a knife right across his throat and just watch him like <laughs> just look all scared when, you know, he's just dying. Uh, but this is completely out of context. So what Isaac fails to mention here was that for one thing, this clip is five years old. This whole thing happened five years ago at this point. It happened in 2015, it's now 2020. Secondly, uh, yeah, the reason I uh, threatened Repsion at the time was because I just did something stupid, I lost my temper, Repsion was filing false copyright claims against me, which almost got my YouTube channel taken down, and at the time it was my only source of income, so yeah, I lost it because I nearly, basically lost my job. I it doesn't make it better if you nearly lost your job or not. You threatened to kill a man. I said something inappropriate, uh, but then I later apologized to Repsion. If you look at those messages, you will see that they were sent four years later. So you apologized 
four years later after doing something and now you're trying to prove that you're a good guy because you apologize and you fixed everything. Isaac is taking an old clip that's five years old, completely out of context. He was not involved in this whole situation and it's been resolved a long time ago. So he was just showing this to dig up mud about me to try and harm my reputation. And that's especially hypocritical coming from Isaac Butterfield because he's made a video saying this. If you say something and it offends someone, don't fucking apologize for it. Because chances are, if you were trying to be funny, guess what? You probably don't fucking mean what you were saying. Apparently intent means nothing anymore. So Isaac Butterfield criticizes people for doing this exact thing. Um, what? He's talking about people who made jokes here, not people that made death threats. Do you not see the difference? And Isaac Butterfield does this exact thing. He, he just did that to me. He went back five years into my social media history. He found a clip of me where I was just having a bad moment. Just having a bad moment? Are you serious? You threatened to kill a guy. So apparently, according to Vegan Games, that if you're angry, right, you can do whatever the hell you want and get away with it. So next time I get pulled over by the cops for speeding, I'm going to tell them I'm angry, and they'll be like, oh yeah, mate, no worries, you go on your merry way. If this is a one-time thing that happened five years ago, sure, maybe we can all let that slide. But this is just one example of you telling people you're going to murder them. So if you think you have the fucking guts, come to the fucking Toronto Veg Fest. I'll be dead fucking serious. I'm a sadist. I enjoy hurting people. Uh, when I just beat the ever-living shit out of somebody, I get a warm, tingly feeling inside like I'm being loved. The only use I can see getting out of you is cutting your fucking skin off and turning you into my new fucking wallet! I fucking hate children. They literally make me sick. When I see babies in a commercial, I start to gag and almost throw up and I have to look away and mute it. And when I see babies in a stroller, especially when they're crying, I just want to put my foot through the fucking thing and step on it until it's nothing but blood and pulp. Isaac also made a number of stupid pseudoscientific statements regarding meat eating, agriculture, the environment, and human health. Uh, he claimed that plant foods are not vegan friendly because uh, more animals die to produce plant foods. Uh, you also ordered other plant foods that would be classified as vegan or vegetarian. Uh, tomatoes, beans, toast. Beans, tomatoes, and toast. They're not vegan, champ. Do you know how many fucking little beetles and little grasshoppers die when you cultivate all that shit? So many, so many animals die to put the little veggies in your, on your little nipples, all right? And this is the thing that I talk about a lot and vegans come back and say, well, the cow's dead and this cow's dead. Okay, let's think about it like this. That's one soul. One cow's soul can fill the bellies of all these townsfolk. But how many little grasshoppers, those little grasshopper souls must die for you to have your carrots to rub on your nipples. So this is a complete falsehood and I'm pretty sure Isaac is well aware of this. No food produced by farms are vegan. I'm gonna show you this clip of a harvester harvesting corn and I want you to think about all the insects and rodents that live in this corn and they're getting mowed down right now. Four million calories, far more animals die to produce animal foods like chicken, eggs, beef, pork, and milk than to produce plant foods like vegetables, fruits, and grains. Which one kills more animals doesn't make a difference because they both kill animals. Currently, as far as I'm aware, there is no data on insect deaths in agriculture. Because farmers need to worry about looking out for the farm. They can't keep track of how many insects they're killing. Like, that's just ridiculous. And then Isaac went on to make more pseudoscientific claims about diet and health. And I'm sure Eddie knows that he's not eating the healthiest diet. I'm sure he's not eating bacon and sausages for breakfast thinking it's health food. Nothing wrong with bacon for breakfast, big dog. Okay, I've been eating a keto diet for a number of years and back when I first started eating it, I lost a lot of weight. That was my staple food. In fact, it improved my blood lipid profile, my cholesterol went down. Uh, from all these blood tests that I did, the nutritional profile uh, in my blood uh, was far better than before I started the diet. And uh, you're wrong, dickhead. So this is just completely absurd. Isaac is actually suggesting that diets high in saturated fat and cholesterol and foods like bacon and eggs will help to lower your cholesterol. That is just stupid. Diet's a very interesting thing because what might help one person might be really bad for another person. It all depends on your blood type. For example, I need a lot of red meat. 
Uh, Isaac uh, made a video where he said he lost 37 kilograms or over 80 pounds. Uh, that would certainly be the cause of your reduction in serum cholesterol, and I'm sure exercise also played a factor there. Answer this question for me. When people work out, either trying to gain muscle or lose weight, what do they drink? Protein shakes. And what has more protein than anything else on this planet? Animal products. So you saying that they're unhealthy and they can't help you lose weight is a load of crap. You haven't even taken into consideration his blood type or how much he's consuming every day. So maybe eating a little bit of these foods is helping him lose the weight. But of course not. In Big and Gain's mind, nothing positive can come from eating animal products. Too much of anything is bad for your health, including water. So now we get to the grand finale where Isaac misrepresents what I said about Eddie Hull and that kid with cancer, hence all of these stupid messages that people have been sending me. Uh, but he has posted just whiny virtue signaling crap on his Facebook page that I think needs addressing. From three years ago, Little Rich, you scrolled all the way down for three years of posts. This is Eddie Hall, he's very active on social media. You have got nothing to do with your life, do you, sir? I should have called you sir. Do you, bitch? This is coming from a guy who dug up a video clip of me that's five years old. <sighs> oh my god, you keep bringing that up. It doesn't matter how old the video is. Isaac was just showing people that haven't seen you before what you're like as a person. Today I attended the funeral of my little pal Lewis. It was a tough one. He left us at the tender age of seven. Eddie attended the funeral. When he passed away, he then put up this post to try and, I don't know, support the family and say some nice words and all those beautiful things. Those things that you probably would think in your mind that you couldn't critique someone over. But not little dick shit vegan gains! No, not even vegan gains would make fun of this, right? So blah blah blah, cancer is an almighty killer and I wish there was a cure for it. I, for one, will be supporting Team Lewis in the future and hope you guys will too. Oh, I was so wrong. Well, Eddie, since we're still waiting for that cure for cancer to be found, how about in the meantime we try and prevent ourselves from developing cancer in the first place? Uh, you eat red and processed meat all day, which- Could you imagine being this kid's family? If they somehow, like not many people subscribe to vegan games, but somehow come across this video and then have to relive that moment of their child passing with this dude talking in this very condescending voice about their child. I seriously don't even want to imagine how that would feel. Which is classified by the WHO as a cancer-causing carcinogen. Doesn't really make sense for you to eat these foods and promote these foods. Okay, he's not promoting these foods. He's just showing people what he eats. That's like you making a video outside and then me saying that you're promoting sunlight which causes cancer. You make fun of people who have cancer who eat meat because they're dumb dumb. Like, it, I just don't understand what, what you're doing. I don't get it. You make fun of this kid. You make fun of Eddie because he's his hero. So that was a very stupid take. For one thing, Isaac is claiming that I made fun of this kid for having cancer. Which you did. I did no such thing. Now you're just starting to really piss me off. Apparently you didn't make fun of a kid that died of cancer but you wrote out a post about him and you put on this really mocking voice that a five-year-old would put on when they're trying to tease someone. And yes, we all saw the clip and you mocked a dead kid. I don't know where the hell Isaac is getting this from, so he's just claiming I said something that I didn't say. Another one of Isaac's lies. Oh my god, Isaac is not lying here, okay? What he's doing is he's exposing you. And that's why you're getting all defensive about this. And much loved and missed YouTuber Greta Andre pointed out that you're a liar. An example of Vegan Gaines saying one thing and then saying something completely different, right? Is when he gives his personal account of why he turned vegan, which he posted just over a week ago, I think. This was before he went vegan, but I went down to a dog show and there was a pig competing in this dog show and it was doing the exact same things all the dogs were doing. It was jumping over little fences, it was running up ladders, weaving in and out of pine cones. And right then I made the mental connection that, wow, these farm animals that I've been eating are pretty much exactly the same as dogs. And, you know, I wouldn't kill a dog, but I would kill a pig and that kind of messed with my head a bit. And then later I saw a video of how pigs were treated on these factory farms and it was just fucking horrible. And from that day on, I couldn't eat any more pork. I stopped eating bacon, ham, and all that. 
Very touching. It's a very emotional, animal suffering centered story. I'm sure you'll all agree, right? Now let's watch a video he made about the same topic, about why he became vegan, but this one is from six months ago. So let's have a listen. So the reason I turned vegan was because I found out it was the most logical diet for a human being. It wasn't based on any emotion. Giving up meat and going vegan was a completely logical decision. Ending animal suffering was a minor part of my decision. What? Y you see? Do you see what I'm saying about the lion, right? It's the same topic, but it's a completely contradictory story. Go look at the videos for yourself if you think I'm lying. I'm not lying. And uh, the only person I criticized here was Eddie for what I perceived as virtue signaling. Now, I think it's perfectly reasonable that after somebody passes, you make a Facebook post saying, you know, it's really sad that they're gone, my condolences to the family, but that's not what Eddie did. Uh, that's literally what he did. He went way above and beyond that, and I perceive this as virtue signaling. Please tell me how. Started talking about how, oh, I hate cancer. Oh, if only there was a cure for cancer, then Lewis wouldn't have died. All oh, these poor children dying of cancer. Hopefully one day we find a cure. Well, I think all of us share that same sentiment, so what's the point of making a post like that? Uh, to me, it's clear that Eddie just wanted to show off and make himself look good without having to actually do anything or put any, any effort into anything. <sighs> of course Eddie cares about this kid. For one thing, he visited him in the hospital, and for another thing, he went to his funeral. So obviously he cares about this kid. He made this post to be nice and support the family, but no. Vegan Gans has to find the negative in everything. And if he is virtue signaling, that means that you virtue signal in every single video. Because you always talk about how mediators are hurting the environment. So that means every time you talk about your shitty vegan views, you're hurting the environment because to charge the camera, you need electricity, which hurts the environment. And then you edit your shit videos, which also uses electricity to host the environment. Then when you upload the video, it uses electricity and internet, which also harms the environment. So, what you are saying here is that Eddie Hall is a bad guy for being against something and then eating something that causes that thing. Every single human on this planet is responsible for this. I'm sure you do some stuff that causes cancer as well, like smoking durries or talking on your phone, using a microwave, putting salt on foods. I'm sure you can do one of those four things that I just mentioned and they cause cancer too. And I think it's really hypocritical of you to be calling Eddie out for this. I think it's funny how you've been accusing the butt smile the whole video of trying to ruin your reputation when he was calling you out for a video you made where you tried to hurt someone's reputation. What I also find strange here is that uh, Butterfield is complaining about me making fun of somebody for having cancer or eating meat, but he's made fun of uh, kids who've been raped by pedophile priests. Uh, he's made jokes about the Holocaust. Oh, did he? Let's tone it down a bit. Let's talk about religion. <laughs> Did you know that children who are brought up in a Catholic household are far less likely to have sex as teenagers in comparison to kids who are not brought up in a Catholic household? Isn't that interesting? And we all know why that is. It's because Catholic kids have enough sex as kids. <laughs> I had a vegan come to my show before. I once sitting right in the front row there one day. And he said, I'm a vegan, mate, and proud of it. And I was like, do you know what I get up for that kind of stuff? And he said, I do. And I thought, if you got to know me, maybe you'd change your mind on vegans forever. <laughs> Silly boy. <laughs> that's so ridiculous that I would change my mind just because I got to know him. I mean, that's like a Jew in 1942 turned up at Auschwitz. <laughs> Are you serious right now? You literally used a clip from his stand-up comedy show. Do you not see that these are jokes and what you did is completely fucked up? Okay, the difference is that Isaac is making jokes, he's not talking about anyone in particular. He's just making comedy to make people laugh. You made fun of a kid that died of cancer. Do you not see how that is different? You dickhead. I guess all these years of being a vegan has fucked with your head and killed all your brain cells. And here's a joke that you made. So if you'll all, uh, excuse me, I'm about to, uh, humanely mass murder me some Muslims. Uh, Isaac in this video also mentioned the, uh, MMA match, uh, that I, that I challenged him to. 
I'm still interested in doing that. Uh, unfortunately, there have been some events in my life and some world events that have uh, made an MMA match difficult. For one thing, I tore my uh, quadriceps muscle a while ago, making it hard to even freaking walk. You've challenged him a number of times throughout the years. Every time he's accepted, and then you haven't committed with it. So don't challenge him if you're too pussy to fight him. And if you like this video, maybe consider supporting me on Patreon. I think I'll go support the bus mine instead. Looking for clothing, then check out the Vegan Gain store. <laughs> if I was looking for clothes, your merch store would be the last place I would ever visit. And as always, keep making those vegan gains. Nope, I think I'll go have a steak instead because they're delicious.